What's good, Crazy Emulation? We back at it with another emulation video. This is Fight Night Round 4, running on the Xena emulator on the Steam Deck on Windows 11. Hope you enjoy the gameplay. Please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, leave your questions. And I'll holler at y'all later. Peace out. So glad you're with us, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. How do you expect Ali to handle Tyson's power? And not let him use it. <laughs> That's what Ali would tell you. You know, I'm not going to get hit by that man. That man hurts. That man hits too hard. That's what Ali would tell you. He's going to stay on the outside, use his legs, give Tyson angles where he can't be set. You know, give him distance where... Tyson will be making a nice breeze, but not doing any damage on the chin of Ali. And I'll tell you one other way. He'll talk to him, and he'll break him down. He'll say, that's the best you can do, and Tyson will get broken down. Good combination to the head. Well done three-punch series of punches there by Tyson. this round here pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself up top and a nice combo by Ali ten seconds remaining in this round well Mike Tyson has not faced much adversity in his early career but now a bit of a challenge as you can see the swelling and a swollen eye on anybody especially on somebody like Tyson it can shrink your confidence. I wonder if that's what's happening right now to Tyson. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Good combination by Tyson. Good 
job on the two-punch combo by Ali. A very crisp combination by Ali. Unable to get to Ali, Ali blocked it. Teddy, a Mike Tyson left hook. Where's it come from? Well, it comes from everywhere. I mean, he wants to make sure that he annihilates you. So he puts everything into it. Shoulder snap, body, back, everything. Halfway through round number two. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. with a block punch. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. That's a tried and true method that works out very well the counter punch landing by Tyson. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson's resting up after a round in where he was so very accurate. And Teddy, if you want to have one single quality out there as an offensive fighter, accuracy is among the ones you want to have. Yeah, to be accurate, that means you have to be calm. And you have to be smart that you know that you're putting the punches in certain specific places for a reason. And boxing is not just about the strongest guys. It's supposed to be, and it usually is, about the smartest guys. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Keep that hand moving. Lands flush with the combination upstairs. How important are these mental gymnastics that Muhammad Ali twists and turns, like his pre-fight antics with Sonny Liston and Frank with him getting the results that he wants? Well, I think he looks for two things. It's a double-edged sword. One is that, you know, he can kind of invade the psyche of his opponent, weaken him a little bit. But it's also for himself. It's to build himself up, to give himself something to aspire to, something to make sure that he lives up to puts himself on a spot, a spot that now he has to be sure that he handles. I would assume there has to come a point in this fight where he has to make the commitment to throw the power punches. It's hard to envision a way he's going to win this fight without going down that road. He doesn't have the confidence to do it. I don't know if he's mentally strong enough to do it. I think he's worried about throwing hard at the guy because maybe in his mind that means the guy will throw hard back at him. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Right back to the work up top. It is unbelievable to sit back and just watch what these guys are willing to give and to take. Wow, what a fight so far. Well, give and take, that's the key word. Sometimes you're forced to become great. And right now, each one of them are forcing the other to go to great places. One of those fights were at the halfway point. I wouldn't even venture a guess as to what the scorecard should look like. And I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Both guys have brought their A game. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real war drill. Two stubborn guys, and they're going to continue to argue right to the end. Super three-punch combination by Ali. Timing that double jab to the head. 
Now, this is exactly what I love about an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet science. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. <laughs> Nice block by Ali. On the mark with the combination by Ali. Great fight. I mean, just a great fight. Both guys giving their all back and forth. It doesn't get much better. Get him, get him. Was it that obvious right from the start that this physical specimen that you were seeing as a 12, 13, 14-year-old was going to end up being the pro fighter we're seeing in the ring now? Well, Costamano, the first day we had the gym, said to me, you're going to have a chance maybe to train your first heavyweight champ if this guy stays interested, if he gives us a chance to develop him. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. that round comes to an end it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight teddy my thoughts are pretty clear cut this is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own this is an all-out war yeah this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget you know he's spending with both hands you know when he goes home he's gonna have no money in his pockets and when this fight is over these guys are gonna have nothing left in the gas tank and it's probably not going to a decision from that headshot with the block. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Three in a row landing by Ali. Protects his head. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Muhammad Ali. The round comes to an end here. An enjoyable night sitting ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. A lot better than our day we spent at the horse track the other day where we couldn't get any winners. At least I couldn't. But uh, we were talking about the fact that so many parallels to be made between boxing and light boxing and all these other sports we enjoy, like horse racing, of being well conditioned and working your way up to this one singular moment. Yeah, well, the trainer obviously has to get the athlete. In this case, the athlete happens to be over a thousand pounds, and that's a horse. You know, at peak condition, he has to look at a counter just like a trainer does with a fighter, you know when the race is, know when the fight is, and not get used up out on the track or used up, of course, in the gym. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. 
You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Takes one, but gets one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Place three punches landing by Ali. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. <laughs> Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. <laughs> Muhammad Ali blocks that punch. Muhammad Ali's got a way of just getting away from that punch. <laughs> Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. I hope y'all enjoyed the gameplay. As always, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll hide y'all in the next video. Peace out.